Are your challenges for camos not tracking on Modern Warfare 3? Well today I'm going to tell you the correct way to complete some of them due to them being bugged. Along with that I'm going to give you some tips on some of the other challenges that are not bugged. Now from everywhere I've looked, mainly being like Twitter or just other YouTube videos, there is one challenge that people are still struggling with even after the game's been out for a couple weeks now, I just wanted to explain how it works, and it's get kills with one mag. Usually it's either three or five. And so to demonstrate how this challenge actually works right now due to it being bugged, I'm just going to hop into a firing range map. And so as you can see in the bottom right, I have 10 bullets. So if I want to complete that challenge, kills with one mag, let's say it's just three with this gun, I would have to get three kills. There's one, two, and three. So right here, you would maybe already think that that would count as one, but it does not. What you have to do is reload. I don't know why it's like this, but that's just how it is. And now what other people still don't know with this is that you can get a kill. Well, let's just back this up. Let's say I respawn because I died. I have a brand new full mag. What you can do is get a kill. And then let's say you die again. You still have one kill with a mag. You can get another kill. That counts as two kills because you have not reloaded yet. And let's say you die again and then you get a third kill. As long as you have not reloaded between those three kills, you can then reload and it will count as one of those challenge done. I keep seeing people say that you don't need, you're like not supposed to run a mag or anything like that. I have not had an issue at all with running mags on my guns. Usually I prefer, I just run the biggest mag, it just makes it a little easier. So again, just remember it's three kills with one mag. It does not matter if you die and it does matter if you reload. So after you get three kills, you have to reload. Even if you get three kills and die, shoot a bullet and then reload. From everything I've seen and from helping friends do this, it still is bugged currently. So if it does get fixed, I'll leave like a comment or whatever down below. And now let's get into some of the other tips for some of the other challenges and for that I'm going to hop into a private match. All right so one of the other things I forgot to mention is there's a challenge where you need to get kills in one life without dying. Now if you didn't know that challenge there's I think two of them it's either three or five they're just bugged all you need to do is get kills so you don't need to worry about just sitting in a corner waiting for your three streak or five streak. You can just run around and just play the game, pretty much. Alright, but anyway. The first thing I wanted to do is go over pen kills quick. And shipment is going to be back in, I think, tomorrow, as of seeing this video, if you are seeing this video. So for pen kills, all you want to do is you want to shoot this wall. This is an easy wall bang you can do. Same with the other side. Just shoot right here. But mainly, what you want to do is you want to use these boxes, that barrel, and right there on that box. I just don't want this guy bugging me. So what you'll do is you'll come right here, line up with this barrel, because people like to go on that head glitch. And all you have to do is put your crosshair right here on the box. I've noticed people trying to just do the long wall bangs for some reason when it is so much easier, especially for shipment. 
to just do small lineups like this where you just shoot through the wall. Or you could come over here, do the same thing right here with this box. And as they spawn back on this side of the map, you can just kill them off spawn. It's very easy to do. I got done with the challenge in like one game just because you use these methods. Another good one's right here. All you do is you line up and it you won't be using ARs when you do this. It's usually LMGs or snipers. So you can just shoot right there and the people on the head glitch right there, they will die. The next one I wanted to give... The next tip I wanted to give was just a optic for headshots. Now this optic is the Corio Eagle Eagle's Eye 2.5x. It is a really good sight. I'll let this guy kill me quick. Okay, this sight is just perfect for headshots. It just lets you aim. It's slightly more magnified aim. It just makes the head easier to shoot. The next camo I wanted to go over is there's one that you need a full ammo reserve for. If you didn't know, you could just run a munitions box. And if you look in the bottom right, that number will be maxed. I don't believe it's maxed right now for this gun. I don't believe 156 is correct. I think it's what, 180 or 210 or something like that. But a way to get around that is you can go to your loadout, change your vest to the one right here, the gunner vest, and if you read at the top left, it'll say, deploy with max ammo. All you have to do is put that on, you'll spawn in with the max amount of ammo, and all you have to do is just get kills with that gun and with that one mag. Because, of course, if you run out of the mag and then you reload, you won't have max ammo in the reserve. And then last but not least, you have stun kills. Now, stun kills can be very annoying. And I highly suggest you do the challenges on shipment just because it's a smaller map you can get into more engagements and do not run a flashbang because in the with how the game works you have to look at the flashbang for it to have any effect on you so stuns just make it a lot easier and so basically tips that i have for this is you can just throw them over these boxes and it will most of the time hit people that are on here, like anywhere here. You don't have to just throw it directly back here. And you'll just get people off spawn. Just throw them high. I found that they'll explode higher and just hit more people. It just covers more area. You can just run in there, try to get one. Die, get another one. Or you can even just run the, I think it's called the engineer vest and just get two. But yeah, anyway, those are some tips on getting the camos for Modern Warfare 3. I hope this was helpful. If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next one.